Hello scientists, this is Mr. Hoffman here and today we're going to be doing an experiment on the rate of evaporation. And the question that I'd like us to think about to consider is, is does adding energy increase the rate of evaporation? So let me go over the materials that we're going to use. We got two, a Ziploc bag and a Ziploc bag, so it's two Ziploc bags. We're going to have an eyedropper or something to drop water out of. We're going to be using a, a napkin, napkin here and a napkin here. And we have some room temperature water and some hot water, hot water here. And I'm also going to be using today a, a stopwatch, um, stopwatch, and which is just more of a timer. If I can get it to reset a timer today. And then also I have some thermometers here to show just the differences in temperature of our water, our different water temperatures, and just record how much temperature each is. This is room temperature water, and this is room temperature water right here, room temperature water, and room temperature water here in the classroom is going to be about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and our hot water is, wow, 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So room temperature, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, hot water, 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to remove those, and now I'm going to fill up our bag. So let's go ahead and begin. What you're going to do is uh, you're going to take a Ziploc bag and you're going to open it up and you're going to add the hot, uh, the cold water into the Ziploc bag to where it's about a fourth of the way uh, full. So that's pretty good there. The one you're going to want to make sure you're going to do is you're going to take out all the air, as much air as possible. So it's just going to be the Ziploc bag, and you're going to zip that up. And as you zip it up, you're going to take out more of the air. And so it's going to lay flat on the table here, flat on the table, just like that. And then here, we're going to add in the hot water. I'm going to take our hot water. And I'm going to fill up the bag. So it's about a fourth of the way full. And there we go. And then again, I'm going to take out all the air and zip it up. All the air and zip it up so it can lay, lay flat. Lay flat for us right here. Okay, that's laying flat. And then I got my room temperature water. And that's laying flat right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my napkin and I'm going to place my napkin on top of each different Ziploc. Hot room temperature. Hot room temperature. What I'm going to do is just going to take, I'm going to just take some normal room temperature water and I'm going to place about 10 drops right in the center of my napkin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I want you to observe what's happening with the drops. I'm going to do it on this one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to notice that the circles are going to be about the same distance. And I'm going to use my stopwatch here. And I'm just going to time, start the timer. The timer started. I wonder if I could put this up in a way that you might be able to see it. I don't know if that's going to work or not. And 
And we're going to watch these dots. We're going to watch these dots. We're going to let them, we're going to watch them for about four to five minutes. minute has passed. up on four minutes. Thank you. 
room temperature napkin. This is the hot water napkin, hot water napkin. I still feel the bag being hot and the room temperature bag is much cooler. And let this go for a couple more minutes. Hitting the six minute mark now. Okay, we are at the seven minute mark. It's now been seven minutes since this was placed. The napkin was placed in hot water with the, with the water and the room temperature. Make your observations. What are you noticing? The difference between room temperature, the napkin being placed on the room temperature ziplock, and then the napkin being placed on the hot. What do you notice? What do you see? I'm going to continue to let this go for another two minutes, so it'll be a 10 minute total experience. We'll see where we're at in 10 minutes. Okay, we're coming up to 10 minutes now, and I want you to make your final observations. What do you notice about the hot water bag with the napkin being placed? Look at the circle, and what do you notice about the napkin on the room temperature bag? What do you see?
does energy being added increase the rate of evaporation? Okay, thank you scientists for taking part of this experiment today. You're gonna zip that up, and as you zip it up, you're gonna take out more of the air, and so it's gonna lay flat on the table here. Flat on the table, just like that.